go. Four, three, two, one. Game start. Texas A&M versus Purdue's Boiler Bots. A&M standard going on over. The hero not filling up on projectiles yet. Uh, I'm not going to pass judgment too early. They did reserve gold, which indicates to me that perhaps the hero is fully functional. The century for A&M. About to get a look here. The century for Purdue. Uh, taking some shots. That CV working. A&M century not launching projectiles, uh, but the century for Purdue... Even though it's able to defend itself, taking the wrong end of that trade down to 390 HP. Some sentry to sentry combat. Ouch, that hit me right in the head. Oh my goodness. That was so painful. Uh, the sentry for Texas A&M is now backing itself up against the wall. Purdue now in the lead. 110 HP left for the sentry of Texas A&M. The rough look for Tamu's century, but really impressive from Purdue that they are continuing to fire 90 health left. Uh, they're not hitting a lot of the shots that it's firing, uh, but enough to make a difference. Now 80, now 70, now 60. They're dialing it in. The century now getting drilled by Tamu's reigning champ 1v1 confrontation standard. Uh, the century for Texas A&M down, Purdue maintaining their lead as the century for Purdue falls to 90. The base for Texas A&M starting to take some damage. Purdue getting some early chip. That's good strats. That's good moves. Uh, Purdue has their balancing standard that will allow them to uh, deal damage to the base from a relatively safe position as the century for Purdue falls as well. Three minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Texas A&M slightly behind. The standard rushing the base, trying to even that out. Texas A&M's hero has five projectiles. Uh, the hero there against a standard standard team really should be able to push them ahead. A and M's hero is able to fire projectiles. They'll they'll finish this game very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to be a base race of one standard versus two. Ismi Baron says, "Come on, Tamu. I know that Sentry can slap." Purdue's base taking a beating here from that standard from Texas A and M. On the other side, the standard now defending its own base, dealing quite a bit of damage to the balancing bot on the side of Purdue. Uh, but Purdue doing a good job of staying focused. They've got so much HP as level 9 standards. They don't have to worry about that poke damage. They do take the base health lead back. 1150 to 1190. Currently, Purdue still in the lead. Less than half the game to go. This is not the direction that I had predicted earlier. AM's robots running into the resupply zone a little vigorously. Uh, their team members uh, holding it up with a foot to make sure it doesn't move too much on them. Both teams waiting for that two minute mark to hit so they can get gold. It has passed. Both teams reloading. There's going to be a standard confrontation that will likely decide the fate of the game here. Blue standard four versus. Takes the hero down very, very low, but it's the standard that's doing things for it. Overpowers and drops. Purdue, can they finish off this standard for Texas A&M? Can the standard once again put the whole team on its back? Purdue giving over valuable XP and levels to Texas A&M. Not the robot you want to hand XP to. Texas A&M now pulling ahead with 11.20 damage to the Purdue base. <laughs> 1,000 health left on the Purdue base. A minute left to go. Uh, Purdue standing up, trying to body block. Body blocking will slow the rate of the base race. Uh, but if, if Blue Standard 4 is unable to deal damage... It's moving across the base. This is going to be very telling. 53 seconds left to go. That standard has so many projectiles. Over 300 projectiles purchased for each robot. Purdue in a slight lead. 45 seconds left to go. But Texas A&M has a much faster rate of fire as it chews through the base. Purdue's no longer body blocking. They left. They thought they could base race. 530 on both. 490 on both. 440 on both. We're into the threes. Can A&M do it? Can the standard put the team on its back? Purdue, 10 the lead, 120, 110, 90, 80, 60, 50, 30. Purdue takes the round. Texas A&M falls. Three robots on the field, but only one that does anything. Purdue beats them in a base race. Oh my word. 
Chat, why do we even make brackets? Why do we even do predictions? RHIT beats a UW or a CU. Purdue beats a TAMU. Holy smokes. I'm sorry for peeking out the audio chat. That's my bad. Oh my goodness. That was the closest base race moving. I, maybe they got some bolts put into that light bar. We'll see what happens here. Um, the Sentry coming all the way across into the base of Purdue. It is not firing projectiles as of yet. It runs into the wall and is taking damage. The light bar is dragging behind it. It's trying to spin. Ooh, this is not pretty. It's an autonomous robot. It doesn't know any better. First Don't punish blood. my boy. Uh, first blood coming across for Texas A&M in spite of their disconnected sentry. Uh, so a relatively tied game as their sentry is kicked out. But A&M keeping their head screwed on straight. They're able to deal 400 damage to the base and get a significant base lead. Um, Purdue, I guess, spent their projectiles killing the hero there early. Uh, oh no, the hero is dying to module offline. This is going to be an XP farm for our boys at Purdue. Texas A&M starting to melt the base of Purdue. Purdue firing back. Whoa. Uh, if Purdue wants to win this, they're going to have to start stopping A&M's standard. You can't allow the standard to come and unload another 170 projectiles. You see the standard splitting uh, for Purdue. Last time, they were actually able to base race. It's standing up. It's trying to get in the way, trying to body block. 600 to 1,000. He's not actually standing in the right place, so a and still firing through. Um, the hero continuing to just spawn and die. I don't think this body block is very effective. Uh, Purdue won their last match by 2v1 base racing. a and going back. Zero, zero projectiles, zero dollars in 16 seconds. They will have a lot of projectiles all funneled into one standard. Uh, round one, John, uh, the hero was unable to fire projectiles, and it was a base race. Two standards versus one standard came down to one second of firing. Round two, the sentry got ejected because it fell apart on the field. Uh, the hero has a module offline. The standard once again trying to carry the team on its back. Relatively successful. Purdue still trying to body block. Uh, they're trying the same strat, but it obviously didn't work as Texas A&M able to clutch up round two, and they will take it one for one. One, one for one. They're, they're able to clutch up round two. There we go. And take one for one. Oh, Texas A&M. Field three functional robots, please. Uh, yeah, so the referees did eject that sentry for Texas A&M because it was illegal um, and honestly just a, a safety hazard. It was dragging electrical components, uh, twisting them in circles. That's not something you need to do with wiring. Um, 